Now to the other breaking story we're following for you. Murder suspect Tracy Lopez on the run for weeks has been arrested in West Haven tonight. Police say he killed Jose Salgado, a grocery store owner in Bridgeport. His alleged accomplice is already in jail. And take a look at this because you can see Lopez tried to change his look, shaving off his hair. You see that's the old mug. On the right hand side, the new mug shop from today is the one on the left with the haircut. And we've closely been following this search for him because of all the public safety concern. For the very latest, let's go live tonight to the newsroom. That's where you find News H Jason Newton. Jason? And after nearly two weeks on the run, Bridgeport police finally found their man. The 18 year old New Haven resident was found today in West Haven, and he was taken into custody without incident. Pray for his soul because he knows what he did, and the justice will be served, and that's up to the law enforcement and everybody. But the trauma that you've caused our family, I don't wish on anyone. Tracy Lopez is now behind bars. Bridgeport police picked him up Monday morning at a house on East Avenue in West Haven. Bridgeport lost a good man, and we owe it to his family to hold the people accountable who took his life. If people come into our community to do harm, we will find you and we will bring you to justice. Lopez was wanted for the brutal murder of beloved store clerk Jose Salgado. Salgado was at work inside his store in Bridgeport's Hollow neighborhood on the morning of April 11th when two gunmen stormed in and opened fire. Salgado died on the scene. Family members stood inside Bridgeport City Hall Monday celebrating the arrest of the second suspect, but the loss of Jose Salgado is still deeply painful. Nothing's going to bring him back. So I guess it's the comfort in knowing that another family is not going to go through this. Leighton Vanderberg was arrested earlier this month and charged with murder. The two suspects, the car and the robbery description, closely resemble another store clerk killing that happened April 6th in New Haven. Police also suspect Vanderberg and Lopez may also be responsible for another April shooting inside a New Haven smoking wings restaurant that injured a woman. I'm happy to say that today we can report that he is in our custody and no longer is any danger to anyone out in the street. And now we spoke with New Haven police to see if there's any connection between the store clerk killings here in these two cities and we're told that the two departments have been in communication with each other but right now nothing is confirmed. Lopez is charged with felony murder and will be arraigned in Bridgeport Court on Tuesday. Live in the New Haven newsroom, Jason Newton, News 8.